Yo, what's good YouTube? ACL Official back again with another video. Today, I've got Valentino's and Balenciaga's to unbox, so I'm gonna go through them. A lot of people have been asking for real versus fakes on both of these trainers, so I'm gonna be dropping that soon. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the actual unboxing. All right, so first things first, we got the Balenciaga Arenas. If you saw from the thumbnail, these are the suede ones in blue and they're a size 10, which is E44. Then you get the little barcode sticker from, I got these from Matches Fashion. Uh, big up them, they've got a lot of high end stuff at decent prices. All right, so opening up the box, the only thing that was in there other than the shoes, which I'll show you in a minute, was this um, sole protector thing. And then there's a dust bag and spare laces as well, which I'll show you now. So yeah, the dust bags here, it's just the usual. Um, cotton dust bag saying Balenciaga and bold on the front and then you've got the drawstrings here just to tie up if you need to nothing special there then it came with these spare laces as well just tied up like that um, I think they come with all the arenas because I've had a pair before that also came with these all right so getting into the actual trainers now you can see the suede on them Balenciaga proper nice as you can see there the quality on them is just crazy um, the suede's like such high quality Apart from that, it's just a normal Balenciaga arena. I'm guessing most people um, watching this would have seen a pair before. So it's just got the standard things. You've got the kind of box logo type thing with the Balenciaga inside. Um, you've got this feel here on the soles. You've got the sizing and like a serial code in there. And yeah, overall, it's just a really nice shoe. I'll show you the other foot as well. So I'll give you a quick 360 now. solid shoe as well you can tell it's well built so what i'll do is go and get the valentinos out now you've seen this one um, i'll put them both on foot afterwards and yeah all right so onto the valentinos now I haven't even opened the box but i'm just feeling the print on the front this gold here as well complements it nicely same type of barcode things here i uh, don't know why that's ripped but that's how it came then all the details of the shoe here but yeah let's get into the box All right, so straight away, a similar type of thing. We've got the laces as well, tied up in exactly the same way as the Balenciaga's ones were. We've got this same sole protective thing. I think this is just something that matches fashion give you. So I wouldn't pay too much attention to that. Um, some little envelope here. I'm not even gonna bother. Um, dust bags. You get two of them. So one for each shoe, which I actually prefer, as opposed to Balenciaga, who only give you one. And then in here, the actual shoes. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys another 360. Um, let me know in the comments which ones you prefer. Do you like the Valentinos or do you prefer the Balenciagas? Um, quite a few of the people I've spoken to wanted me to do this, so they actually um, didn't like the Valentinos. Just that they're a bit overpriced because they are, these cost uh, 500 pound, as opposed to the Balenciagas, which are, um, they cost 355 pounds. So yeah, just let me know what you think of them. Personally, although a lot of people were saying that they weren't really feeling them too much, I think they're, I think the shoes are cool. Like it's got a mixture of different materials. So it's a bit out of the ordinary rather than just one material all over. I like all the detailing, like the kind of camo effect there. It's really solid as well, like feeling it. It doesn't feel like a shoe that's just gonna, um, you know those ones that crease really easily, like this one doesn't feel like that at all. Um, you've got these little studs here. So yeah, it's a good shoe in my opinion. A bit expensive, but good shoe. All right, so that's pretty much it for the unboxing part. Um, I'm gonna go chuck them on foot now, so yeah, let's go and have a look at that.
All right, so I came inside to get these. Um, these are just way too big. They're supposed to go a size down on Balenciaga's, but these were the only ones I could get at the time. Um, but yeah, you can probably tell they're just massive. I'm gonna put them on anyway, just so you can see um, what they look like. Yeah, I can't really be able to tie them up properly or anything, but just to show you quickly, that's what they look like from there. As I said, they're just way too big. They feel too big anyway. Um, that's a side view for you. Back view. Side again. All right, so that about sums up this. Make sure you watch out because my next two videos are going to be the real versus fakes on both these trainers. Got any questions, comments, um, inquiries, anything like that, leave them down below in the comments. Apart from now, I'll see you again on my next video.